Hey guys, this tutorial is going to be a two-part series where we talk about Decimation Master and how we can bring that into Maya and for we can do some retopo with Quadraw. Right here I have about 2 million polygons and so say you are using Dynamesh and you never did a retopo or you never started with the base mesh. So how do we get this into Maya? I mean if we bring this into Maya right now, Maya is going to be very slow and it's going to be quite impossible to even retopo it. So we need to some way, somehow, bring a low res version without having to do much work into Maya. And there's a way to do it. It's called Decimation Master. So if you come into Z plug at the very top, you can come over to Decimation Master and then you have this little menu. Let's just dock it over here and make things a little bit easier. Cool. So we're going to go through these settings and how to do them. Let's just start with um, the pre-process current. There's some settings up here, but you don't even really need to mess with these. Let's just come over here. The pre-process cur uh, current is saying we want to pre-process our current subtool. If you want to do multiple, you can do all. The pre-process is where it's going to calculate before it actually decimates. It needs to go through and figure out how it's going to uh, decimate it. So it's going to do a little thinking stage, and then you set to how much you want your decimation, and then you then you set it. The decimation part doesn't take that long. It's the pre-process that takes a little bit. So we'll go through this um, together. So you have your model, two million. I don't know. I'm not sure if I showed you, but it's pretty dense, obviously. So we're not bringing this into mind. So we're going to press pre-process current. It's going to go through what it needs to do. So it finally finished. It took about four minutes. Not that bad. But we got it pre-processed. It's done all its calculations. So now let's um okay, um we'll set the the polys for you could set the 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 percentage over here, but what I usually like to do is just come to the K polys. This is how many polys uh per hundred thousand. So we have two million. I'd say you don't want to bring in more than a hundred thousand to Maya. So I'll start with probably like eighty K. Eighty thousand. And let's just see what what we get. Press decimate current. Okay, that one was much faster, but as you can see, it's it didn't go to exactly what we set, and so that's kind of the problem with this. So I set it kind of low. It gave me two hundred thousand, two hundred eight thousand. Let's bring this to twenty k. Decimate current. Oh, it's 10,000. And look at this. We, we are still keeping most of our forms, and it's 10,000. Now, I wouldn't bring 10,000. We can bring more into Maya, and I don't want to lose all my forms. So let's just make this, I don't know, 40. And by the way, I pressed Command-Z to go back to 300,000. Doesn't make current. 20,000? Eh. I, I'm kind of going for 40,000. I think 40,000 will be perfect. I have a whole body here. It's not just a head. If you have a head, I'd probably do twenty thousand, maybe fifteen thousand. You'll be fine. But since I have a whole body, I want to get. I want to make sure I don't lose any form. So I think forty thousand will probably be the best. Let's just do sixty. I think that's what we'll quit. Perfect. Whatever. Thirty thousand. It, it's it's ten thousand polygons more. But as you can see, you hold most of your forms. The reason why you don't want this, by the way, if you're a beginner and you're like, well, why can't I just keep this? Um, you can't. This, this is not going to divide well. This can't be animated. This can't be rigged. So don't think that this is okay. This is just what we're going to bring into Maya. And that's the next step where I'm going to show you how you can re-topo this.